good morning I just wanted to show you my space now it is going to change it is definitely going to change but I'm going to show you the stairs we have to come up the boxes that we still haven't unpacked and what I've unpacked so far what's going to stay the same and what will change hold on let me turn you around okay these stairs here this is the booger. We can the first set of stairs getting from the first floor to the second floor is not that bad. This set is difficult. They're narrow, they're extremely narrow and they're steeper. Now I'm going to turn you around behind me. These are boxes that I'm just not ready to unpack yet because of the themes that are inside of them. This, uh, when we bought the house, we had these built-ins already here. I love them. I don't know what I'm going to do with this landing. I would love to have some suggestions. I thought about a little reading nook, but really would I use that? Not likely. But I absolutely love these built-ins. Aren't they pretty? Okay, I'm going to turn slowly and take you down the hall. What do you think about that groovy wallpaper? Mm -hmm. And if you think I've got groovy wallpaper, just wait until you see. Can you see at the end of the hall, the green room? Yeah, that's all kinds of awesomeness. And we've got in my bathroom, super duper groovy wallpaper. Look at that. Don't you wish you just had that purple strap wallpaper like I do? Yeah, I know, I'm the lucky one. The thing that we have to contend with as well are all of these knee walls and these weird angles. I mean, the, we call it the turret, and it's a joke between my husband and I, but I am on the third floor. I have the th whole third floor to myself. Nevertheless, every space is extremely tiny. This is considered a bedroom. I don't know how they got this cabinet in here. Because we were not able to get it out. It's beautiful though. And this is a built-in. It's a built-in day bed that I will be decorating this space. Now, I'm not sure how this is coming across in the... Let me interrupt for one second. I have this closet here to store things in. I'll open that real quick. So it's decent. It's not, it's not so bad. It does have a knee wall in it that's kind of funky. So this is sheets and pillows for the room with the day bed. This is out in the hall. And I was going to say, I'm not sure how these spaces are coming across in the video, but believe me when I tell you, they are extremely small. Okay, walking. Now this is my actual scrapbook room. Behind this door is another closet that is identical to the one that was in the hall. This one's contained in the room. And right now, I'm holding my bags because in New York, you need to bring shopping bags with you when you go shopping. Or they'll provide you paper bags that you purchase at the time of checkout and they're not always great quality. So these are my bags when I know I'm going to go to um, Joanne or uh, Hobby Lobby, Michael's, Tuesday morning, whatever. Anything that, that I could get crafting, scrapbook related, this, I use these. We also have in uh, Amherst, Buffalo, Stamps and More, which is, they typically cater more to card making, but they do have a lot of paper to choose from. And on these shelves, 
right now I'm storing oh look at that really old cinch and my do you remember the clickets yeah look at that okay so right now I'm storing storage items because the room's not finalized I don't know what I'm going to need or what I'm going to use and this is by no means everything that I have but it's what I'm working with so far this is what's come north we're gonna close that up turn slowly back around I'm gonna take you to the end first and then we're gonna work our way back into our scrapbook space now as we're passing this was a on-purpose purchase from Wayfair.com. Now, anything that we bring upstairs, we have to basically build it up here because it will not come up those narrow stairs. So if it's in a box that we can get up the stairs, we build it up here in this room. It's just what we have to do. But anyway, this chair we got from Wayfair so that my husband would have, it's a chair in Ottoman, and a, a comfortable place to sit when he wants to come up and be with me while I'm scrapbooking. It also turns into, it, it lounges back. Uh, it was kind of built as a, you can use it as a bed. And it does go all the way flat. Okay, in this room, it is a hot mess right now. We are storing, ta-da, my vacuum cleaner and photography equipment. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. It takes up so much space, and I just don't have it. Uh, some of these boxes are from Canada because I had scrapbooking supplies there. And this Big Shot, I got a, a, just as a ridiculous deal. I paid $30 for it. I don't need it. I have another one. Just couldn't pass up the deal. Um, my husband's microwave that we will have connected. A Tassimo coffee maker. This is all going to be set up. We'll have a refrigerator in here, the microwave, so that I don't want if I don't want to go downstairs, I won't have to. Over in this area, because so this is my large format printer. Uh, back in the day, it was the greatest thing ever it's still a workhorse it still works so i'm not going to upgrade it it will do 13 by 19 prints this canon uh, is what i typically use on a daily basis and i'm going to go ahead and turn it on because i'll be printing some photos in a moment but i can easily do four by six five by seven eight and a half by eleven but eight and a half by eleven is the largest that it will print and in these drawers is where I store my photo paper. We will have more printers coming up here to join these two. Now, looking into my space. The unit, the cubby unit on the back is a Better Homes and Garden from Walmart. Ordered it from walmart.com. Beside it, the rolling cart, the white rolling cart, is going to go to a, another location. We're going to put from Alabama a 2 by 4 Better Homes and Garden unit that will fit perfectly in that space. <clears throat> so behind me, I will end up having 5 by 5 No, 5 by 4 Math is not my strong suit. And the things that are in here currently that are going to stay, so on the top shelf here, these two cubbies, that is spring and summer, those are going to stay. The second shelf is fall and Halloween. Those are going to stay, so those two cubbies will stay. But fall, because I have way too much of it, and I do store my paper pads that are thematic in with the themes. So 
the fall is going to extend all three rows, all three cubbies. And below that will be winter and Christmas, and it will take up all three cubbies. And what will be below and, and the top, the top right will become new products that I want to play with. It's going to be, turn, you know, I can turn around, get right into it right behind me. So when my kids come in each month that I'm subscribed to, and if I have bought brand new product, it's going to go there. Currently, it's just holding, these are just holding. The other, it's just kits, washi, uh, let's see, paper pads, until I get my other cubby on this section of the wall, and that will become all kits and collections. I have four currently of the drawers. There's two, three, and then over here beside the desk, I have the fourth. And those, I have no clue what's in the drawers right now. I, once again, it's just storing things. Now, this section that's across from the desk, what will remain the same are the top four. Those, no, let me back up. The top three are currently exactly as they will be. So that's my color single sheets, pattern paper. Below it is my colored cardstock. Those three cubbies will remain the same. This is a calyx unit. The calyx and the Better Homes and Garden will hold 12 by 12, and I love that. The calyx, however, will actually hold, you see that album at the bottom? It will hold an album. The Better Homes and Garden will not hold a 12 by 12 album. So that's something I learned recently. And this unit, because it is a, an actual calyx from Ikea, I know that I have to store my albums in an Ikea calyx. So my color categories will stay this, where they are. The other cubbies will take on probably paper pads that are not in a theme. Do I have that much paper? Uh, yes, I do. Now, let's kind of back up and see if we can get more of an overall view. The lights are blinding. The window is blinding. This is what we have right now. I will update as soon as we get everything moved in here and I get all of my other products placed. I hope you enjoyed this look. Have a great day. Happy 4th.